Hi again. This is another quick uh, tip tutorial for uh, Meta Spark AR that I learned on the way. And it's very helpful if you're working a lot with 3D objects like I do because we only have four megabyte file size. So it can easily get uh, over four megabyte with 3D objects like these, which also have textures as you can see here in this tree element and flower. So right now, this is definitely too big. It's going to go over the four megabyte, although I decimated it already with the um, decimate modifier. Here you can just decimate it by 0 0.5 and see how it goes. But uh, I did this already and the more you decimate it, the more it's losing its details and I don't want that. So I want to work with this, but I need to find a way to get it all in, into Spark with the textures. So it's mirrored right now in Blender, but we can also mirror it in Spark AR, which is what I want to show you today. And here's a little preview of the filter inside Spark AR. So this is something I made a while back. And you can see there's a lot of detail in the 3D object still inside. So normally if we would import both sides at the same time, it would be definitely over 4 megabyte. So now in Blender, first I'm going to um, remove the mirror modifier. Which we, which we don't need. So I'm going to select everything, Control L, copy modifier, so now I have only one side. And now I'm just going to select it all, export, and, ex and export everything as an FBX. Then we go directly into Spark AR. Now we're going to, this is a completely new project um, and we're just going to add a face tracker and then we are going to add our export. See it, it's still 2.2 megabytes so if we would have exported the both sides it would have been definitely too much. So we add into our scene. Actually, I want to add a face mesh as well, so you can see a little bit better the position in the face tracker. All right. The face mesh, we can also already now quickly add a material, so it looks a bit more interesting. But this is just to show you how to mirror it. So now we have one side of the mask, which is great, but uh, we also need it on the other side. And the first thing you want to do is add a null object. Because we want to mirror the null object, but we don't want to mirror uh, the mask because it's, it's not as handy. It's much easier to work like this is a more... Um, a productive way of working to have null objects. So I'm going to just rewrite um, rename this to the right side and then we're going to duplicate the whole thing. We're gonna rename this left and now this is this is the trick. In your left side in the scale you just go minus one and voila you have it on both sides in your scene. The rest is now whatever you need to still add. Uh, the textures are obviously not right. This material you can completely replace here in the assets. Um, you can make it physical, etc. And that's uh, it, it. I hope this uh, will help you on your on your journey. Thank you very much for watching.